Hello fellow movie watchers, tis I the rumpled one, movies I've watched, got a big stack, The Bling Ring, back in I think it was 2008-2009, there was these teenagers went around breaking into Hollywood stars homes, so this is based on that, it's a pretty funny movie actually, and they got some good um, extras, they got the interview with Paris Hilton, because they actually use her house in the movie so entertaining Arnold Schwarzenegger sabotage well it's an Arnold movie but actually it's not really the so typical a uh, of Arnold pretty good film entertaining turkey alert R.I.P.D. Jeff Bridges Ryan Reynolds all I could think of is they must needed the money because they surely didn't really <laughs> read the script and uh, make a conscious decision <laughs> to do that movie based on this script. Turkey alert. Don't waste your time. The Theory of Everything about Stephen Hawking. Interesting movie. It tells about his life. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It's not too deep in the physics, so don't let Stephen Hawking scare you away. 42. The Jackie Robinson story. Good movie. Good acting. We got Harrison Ford in here. And uh, Chadwick Bosman. Really good movie. Once again, though, just kind of shows the whole story about America. <laughs> Predestination. Ethan Hawke. Okay, I'm going to admit, I got lost. It's a good movie, but because of the looping, I got lost. I might have to watch it again to figure it out. Godzilla! The remake. <laughs> well, mildly entertaining. I just had to watch it because I saw the previews and uh, it just seemed too it just seemed too over the top. It, actually, it's not too bad, but it is Godzilla. You have to watch the original if you haven't seen it. True Detective, Matthew McConaughey, Woody Harrelson. This is a uh, HBO TV show. I think there's like eight episodes. Really, I enjoyed it a lot. Really good. I would say if you if you can uh, watch it, pick it up. And this was the um, the original one, the first one. I think they have a second one. I haven't seen that yet, and I don't know if I uh, I don't think it's got Woody and Matthew in it, so I, I can't say to that one. No good deed. I think I've already reviewed this once, picked it up, and then it's like, wait a minute, I've seen this movie. Good flick, worth watching. Blended, another one that I'd seen before, but once again, worth watching. Adam Sandler movie. It's um, Drew Barrymore. And then we've got Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day with Steve Carell. I mean, Steve Carell plays Steve Carell really well. I don't know if he'd be any good in anything other than a Steve Carell type movie. I think he's just pretty much typecast. But it's funny, entertaining, you know, family fun. The Cobbler, another Adam Sandler movie. Um, Ellen Barkin. I'd almost say turkey alert. I mean, I'm just not into magic and magical things. So, I don't know. It's a coin toss. And finally, John Wick, Canoe Reeves. I liked it. Action movie. 
good story. Only problem with these movies, guys with automatic weapons should be able to kill a guy with a pistol. But they'll spray hundreds of bullets and, and com completely miss them time after time and he takes one or two shots and nails them. I don't know. Maybe the guns weren't sighted in, but I always have a problem with movies like that, just like in the Arnold movie. You know, these guys have automatic weapons and they can't hit, hit the good guys. Anyway, those are the movies I've watched. It's a stack. i got another stack waiting for me at the library. I hope you've enjoyed the movies you've been watching. Once again, thanks for watching my uh, movie reviews and your comments. I appreciate them. And as always, don't run out of popcorn.